G Suite versus Zoho. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we're going to be comparing Zoho with G Suite and determining which one is better solution for your business. So without wasting any more of your time, let's just jump into the video. So first, I'm just simply going to give you a brief introduction to both of these awesome websites. Then we're going to go over their features and tools and the type of ecosystem that they both provide. And then at the end, I'm going to tell you about their pricing. So first up, let's go ahead with Google. So G Suite is a pretty cool software. It's basically like a all-in-one tool for all of the Google products. So you have Gmail, you have Drive, you have you have photos, you have meetings, you have everything. Like it's 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 basically an all in one. So over here, so over here, as you can see, what's included with Google Workspace, formerly G Suite. So over here, all of Google Workspace plan provides a custom for your business. So it provides Gmail, Calendar, Meets, Chats, Drives, Documents, Sheets, Slides and all of the other google products that i had mentioned as i said before it's pretty simple it's really easy to use i mean as you can see almost everyone uses gmail and google so it's no brainer that people wouldn't want to use this like it's pretty simple so the sign up process is really simple as well so all you have to do is click on get started and then you have to you know and then you have to enter in a couple of details and then you have to buy a domain and then you can actually sign up on this website so you have to buy a domain google also provides their own domains as well but you can buy other domains from other websites or if you already have one you can link it to your domain and we can continue with the video so let me just go ahead and sign into workspace to show you how it works so once you've signed up this is how it basically looks like and over here as you can see you can add more users over here you can delete more users you can manage your domains or add domains and change your primary domains and then down below you have groups you can create groups for mailing list and applying policies you have apps you can manage web and mobile app access settings you have account settings you have organizational units you have securities you have reports building resources you have many many more and over here on the left side you have directory so and devices so in directory you will have all of the users groups targeted audience organizational units and building resources and directory settings and then you have devices so in devices you can overview all of the devices that have access to this gmail or that have access to this account in general so you can go ahead and review those settings as well you can add them and delete them as well and then down below you have applications so you have overviews you have google workspace so on in here you have service status calendar cloud search current drive docs you have all these different applications over here and then over here you have google workspace marketplace app so if you click on over here we can go ahead and access the app lists so let me just go ahead and click on it and show you how it looks like so in the applications list so over here as you can see it's pretty empty so over here we have add app to domain list so if you already have an applications installed you can go ahead and add that app to the domain list so that it can work properly but from a business standpoint if you use gmail then gmail doesn't provide other softwares like a crm software or a bookkeeping or and stuff like that so to get those applications you have to sign up onto other applications and then you have to link those applications to g suite so that's extra work and you have more applications to work with like i know you're connecting all of them but you know you should need to if you are running a business so for that reason alone i think zoho is a little bit better than g suite and let me just show you how so zoho is over here so this is zoho this is how the website looks like now over here as you can see we have quite a lot of things going on so we have crm we have mail we have desks we have assist and we have books and we have quite a lot of more products over here so if i click on over here application so as you can see we have sales so these are all the sale applications then we have marketing applications we have customer support we have finance we have hr we have legals we have email and collaborations we have it management we have bi and analytics we have project management i mean we have quite a lot of things going on over here that we just couldn't get from google like as you can see the ecosystem that i was telling you about like when it comes to zoho you have everything in one place like you don't need to go to hubspot you don't need to go to monday.com you don't need to find other bookkeeping applications like all the things that you need to run your own business can be found in one place and i think that's pretty cool for that reason alone i think zoho is just a little bit better so let me just go ahead and sign in and tell you about it now that i've signed into zoho 
let me just show you all of the products so over here as you can see we have all these feature apps let me just click on explore all products and see what all of this is about so over here as you can see we have crm we have mail we have desk we have assist books analytics creator and social so for desk it's a help desk software to deliver great customer support the email it's a secure email service for your business They're like everything is over here in one place like you don't even need to install any other application for it all you gotta do is just simply sign up and just simply set up all of these different applications and then you're good to go now i would say that I did have one single trouble when I was using Zoho. When I was using Zoho, uh, its email service, it was a little bit laggy, like it wasn't fast enough, but it's not like it was a big deal or anything, but I just wish that it was a little bit more faster than like Google then maybe it would have been even better but like it makes up for that because it gives you all of the other support that you would need like you have all these different applications that you wouldn't get anywhere else so for that reason alone i think that it's just a tiny bit better than google okay so now that we know a little bit about these platforms and their features and tools and we know a little bit more about their ecosystem now let me just go ahead and jump into their pricing point so for google it's really simple you have four pricing plans over here so you have the business starter and then you have the business standard then you have the business plus and then you have enterprise so for the starter pack it's six dollars and then it's for the standard pack it's twelve dollars and for the business pack it's eighteen dollars and for the enterprise you have to talk to google to actually get a price that is actually for big businesses like you know that are generating revenue in millions and thousands so over here in the starter pack you get custom and secure business emails you have 100 participant video meetings you have 30 gigabyte cloud storage per user security and management control and standard support whereas in the standard pack you get 150 participant video meeting recordings you get two terabyte of cloud storage per user and then you get standard support paid upgrade to enhanced support and then for the business plus you get five terabyte cloud storage per user we get 250 participant video plus recording attendance and tracking and then you get enhanced security and management controls including vault and advanced endpoint management whichever pack you get you will get all these applications included so gmail drive meet calendar chats current jamboard you have all these applications all of them are going to be included in those $12, $6, or $18. Now, when it comes to Zoho, it's a little bit different. And what I mean by that is they don't have a specific price point. For them, whichever application you use, you have to pay for that application. So, for example, if you're trying to use CRM, you just open CRM and you will see the pricing point for CRM over here. As you can see, like it's really weird. Uh, the same one with the desk one as well. So, if I open up desk, over here as you can see a different pricing plan for desk as well i mean you can use it for free as well i mean it doesn't say that but like you know as you can see if i wanted to you know use crm i would have to pay like 14 or 23 dollars for it and then if i also wanted to use desk i would also have to pay 14 or 23 dollars like that's really expensive and all these applications like we have to pay for it's really weird i don't understand why they did that why couldn't they include a single pricing plan that includes all of these applications like it's it's just weird to me so but the ecosystem does help a little bit to you know it does justify it a little bit but it's still too expensive now i would say that if you have enough money and you know you don't mind the payments and you just want to use a single platform with all of these applications so you don't have to use multiple applications then i would say that zoho is a better deal but if you're tight on a budget and you just want to use the basic stuff then i would say that google is better for you like 12 dollars over here and then 23 14 dollars over here like it's really weird so that is it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys did be sure to hit the like button subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications and having said that i'll catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye